What's going on guys? My name is Nicole Charnel. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my minimalist living journey and where it's at and what I'm doing with it. But first, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you can get notified when I make new videos. And if you're an old subby, hey girl, how you doing? So minimalism. I have been talking about this for maybe a little bit over a year now and thinking about it and researching it and looking at videos on it and making videos on it, looking at Pinterest about it, looking at pictures about it. Pretty much minimalism has kind of consumed my brain. However, it has not consumed my life just yet. And I really want it to. I really want to be a minimalist. I want to get rid of all the junk and the crap and the things that are just sitting around in my life and in my space that I don't touch and that I don't do anything with and that are literally just sitting there. But that's not really what this video is about. If you want to see my first video on minimalism and why I want to do it, you can tap this eye right here. There's a couple videos I already have on minimalism. So today I'm just kind of answering you guys' questions on what's going on with me and minimalism. Question is, am I there yet? And I am not. I am not to my optimal minimalist status yet. I am still trying. I am still stri striving. If you've been watching my channel, you know I've been doing decluttering videos videos and trying to get rid of stuff it's just hard and I think it's just the hoarder in me and like in my blood because it's just more difficult I feel like that it should be but I am trying the next question is how's my wardrobe doing my wardrobe is actually the best part of my minimalist journey I'm actually getting ready to minimize it again because there are still items in there that I haven't touched in a little while and I don't reach for however that's the most probably minimal of my lifestyle right now is my wardrobe. I have not bought anything new in probably about six months. I haven't really needed anything. I'm absolutely okay with wearing the same things all the time. It really does not bother me. Even to church, I'm getting more comfortable with it because yes, these are the people that I see every week. I feel like they will notice if I'm wearing the same thing, but it's not like I don't wash it. You know, it's clean. I just don't feel the need to have a bunch of stuff and a bunch of dresses and a bunch of clothes because I like wearing the same thing. If it looks good on me, why change it? Next question is, have any areas that I've decluttered gotten cluttered again? Um, I would say the, yes, I guess my kids room is probably the biggest thing. I've decluttered that like five times. I feel like maybe like twice, but it just feels like I'm constantly decluttering my kids room, but I, I think I'm within like the next two weeks I'm gonna get to where I want to be. I want it. One of the areas that gets cluttered or has gotten cluttered again. The other area is my office. I just feel like it's like the dump area where I just leave things and where stuff just gets starts collecting. So my office is a struggle for me. I'm definitely gonna get that under control this week. I'm like halfway there. I literally couldn't film in this half of the room because there was so much junk on it, but it's clear this side is clear and it's gonna stay like this because I really like this backdrop, don't you? The question is, what was my last decluttering project? That was um, actually, it wasn't my bathroom, which was the, actually the last video that I put up, but I did just finish decluttering my kids' room again. And like I said, I took their clothes out and stuff. So that's the last project I did. And also simultaneously, I've been working on my office as well. Last question I've been getting is what's next on my minimalist journey or list, I guess. The next thing for me is I found this YouTuber named Michelle B. She's also, she's actually an Australian YouTuber and she lives what she calls an intentional life or an intentional lifestyle. It's a form of minimalism from what I'm catching of her videos and she's just been really intentional about making her goals, setting her goals, um, completing her, making her to-do list, completing them as well, as well as being minimal, uh, being a minimalist with the things in her life, in her apartment and things like that. She doesn't keep a lot of stuff, she doesn't need a lot of stuff and really, you know, I don't need a lot of stuff, I just have a lot of stuff. So the next part of this journey for me is she actually has a challenge called the 30 days, th what is it called? It's called 30 Days to Simplify Your Life. I binged to watch these videos. They were amazing. And it really makes me want to do that. And this is really the type of life I want to live. Like just super minimal, streamlined, 
clean, clear, and beautiful. So I want to adopt this challenge and do it for myself. Uh, I know I had another 30 day challenge so I think I'm just gonna like combine the two and kind of work on kind of I don't know kind of make it my own and work on I think what's best for me so stay tuned for that because I'm definitely going to be doing that in the next month or so the part that I'm really nervous about is she did daily videos and I really want to do daily videos but summer is coming up so I'm going to definitely try and do that challenge probably around the time summer starts and really just kick this hoarder life and be a minimalist like I am ready to be there I'm done procrastinating fascinating this will ha I know that this will help me get focused and help me uh, achieve my goals and help me complete my to-do list I know it because I just get so overwhelmed with stuff being everywhere and so overwhelmed when I come into my room I can't focus when there's just stuff and it, I, there's a reason why I feel like that so I have to get rid of the stuff it's thanks for watching this video guys I really hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that thumbs up button also you can subscribe by hitting my face on the screen if you haven't seen my last video make sure you check that out as well thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on my next one bye